Okay, so all reference frames are equal and what I was saying before we stopped was um, at least uh, all those that are not accelerating. Okay, and this designation of a reference frame that is not accelerating, we call this an inertial reference frame or an inertial frame. Okay, so that's important. Let's, all reference frames are equal if they're not accelerating. Okay, and oops, and that's an inertial. Re those are called. That's called an inertial reference frame. Okay, let's go back to our black. All right. So, um, this this idea of all reference frame, all inertial reference frame being e all inertial reference frames being equal. Um, we can we can sort of call this inertial democracy. I don't know what's wrong with my tablet up here at this little area. I apologize. Okay, so inertial democracy. So what inertial what this what I what I mean by that is that all inertial observers okay are equal under the laws of physics what is going on under the laws of physics okay and so what that means as physicists, right, um, as, as people who need uh, evidence and who, uh, is that, is that there's, there's no experiment that can be done to detect absolute motion. Only relative motion is important. Okay. All right. So this leads us to basically kind of the big question. Okay, let's put this in red, actually. Okay. Big question. Okay. Which is, how do we transform a measurement value made in one reference frame, in one inertial reference frame, to another? Okay. That's essentially what we mean by relativity. Okay, and this is basically what what we mean by relativity. So that's kind of what it is in a nutshell. And now we're going to look at some examples and move on to actually cons uh, considering different, particular different transforms.